Thank you to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to Xavier Zamora, Victor Vegas, Valmer Brockovich, Troy Smother, Safe Munaz, and Morad Shaker for being higher level patrons. You can join that for as little as $1 a month. There's a link down in the description below. Also, thank you to my YouTube members. You can click the join button down below this video if you'd like to show your support there. Please keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into this. We have what has been pointed out by several people. The first of which I'm going to give credit to is Don Bailey, aka Lil Neutron. And he said over on Twitter, so I found this on Reddit. Does that look like the same astronaut from the original Mandala announcement and like Safe Moon chips from the rocket? And if we go ahead and pull up this image right here, we can see that he has circled both this little individual here on the left hand side with the Safe Moon chips, as well as this astronaut there with the table. Now, I understand this graphic, it is a little bit hard to kind of see the details on some things. Safe Moon Warrior has also shared this graphic. We can see it a little bit more cl clearly over here. And SafeMoon Warrior said, latest Mandala Minutes email includes this image. Notice the SafeMoon coins next to the rocket. Not only do I notice the SafeMoon coins next to the rocket, I also notice the Mandala Madness, which is part of the promotion that they were running to where when um, people, I, I don't know what the terms are going to be with this now because of the delay, so I'm guessing they're just going to rearrange the dates. But basically, it was incentivizing people to buy their Mandala coin, which is over here on the far right-hand side as well as when you have your safe moon, that essentially gives you a ticket entry to a potential giveaway. Uh, well, to a giveaway. And then they're going to be giving away safe moon. So that whole Mandala Madness was a promotion to kind of kickstart off the activity with safe moon being listed on Mandala's exchange. Some other things here that we can kind of point out, there's a dome. That dome kind of gives a little bit of a reminiscence element to it, kind of like a mesh network. I don't know exactly what that is trying to entail. This is Mandala after all, and not necessarily Safe Moon itself. Other elements that are here that I find kind of interesting is this block. So on one hand, it could be considering, oh, it's the blockchain, right? We do see Bitcoin there, we see the Ethereum tokens, we could see it says DeFi, but notice the gold little blocks. Something that I find kind of, I'm being creative here. There's not exactly a lot of space for it, almost like a Rubik's cube, right? But if you look at the Binance Cloud, this icon right here on the right side, that Binance logo, the way that it's designed, it is in yellow. And if you were to change your perspective view to look at this block from the front, those blocks would kind of start to form that shape of what Binance's logo is. We can see on the far left hand side that there is just the shell outline of a gold brick, but there very well could be in that sort of space between them, um, if you just drew a straight line, a gold brick that we can't actually see from this point of view. So it is a little bit of a far-fetched thing. I am, I'll just straight up admit that, but it'd be kind of cool if this is trying to give a little bit of an indication that like, yeah, you know, Safe Moon, it, it still has a chance to go over there to the Binance side too. Um, I don't think that's the case, but I figured I would point it out anyways, just because it's something else to maybe take into consideration. We also have the little Mandala astronaut that was mentioned by Don Bailey. We can see that there's a chess game that is set up right here and it doesn't actually look like the match has started yet. There's a fox. That fox very well could be pertaining to uh, like MetaMask. That's what that's making me think about. And there's an individual here with blonde hair. I think that might be referencing somebody from the Mandala team. Um, not 100% on that. I mean, theoretically, I guess it could be John. And then we also look at this individual over here on the far left-hand side. I saw somebody mention, which is DMAC, actually. He's right over here. He said, see the wee leprechaun beside the safe moon tokens? I don't know if that's a leprechaun. This guy looks like he's the same height as this guy. It's just their character model style. But... Um, with the green hat on, that green does kind of give potentially a clue of something with St. Patrick's Day, uh, which is my birthday, by the way. My birthday is tomorrow, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. Um, I might be doing a live stream during the day, so if you guys want to come in and hang out with me, it should be pretty chill. I plan on doing some retro gaming while talking about some crypto on the side and just making it very casual. So yeah, you guys are welcome to come in. 
it'd be great if they have some news that comes out tomorrow for Safe Moon. I don't know if that's going to be the case or not. St. Patrick's Day historically is considered to be a lucky day. So maybe we'll all be lucky and find out some great news, right? Also, what's interesting is over here in the far right-hand side, it shows the mandala coins going into this, the Seifu protection, the safe. And it shows the bar candles, and it actually shows the bar candles are going off the charts here, going up. So I'm curious to see what exactly they have in mind with that. The Binance Cloud is something that's been getting worked on for SafeMoon's global tokenomics function to be able to get added in. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe they have something planned that's going to be kind of like a buyback type system and it just sort of help kickstart off the price of SafeMoon. I'm just throwing this up in the air, guys. I, I really don't know what all of this stuff is. It's all hypothetical. I'm just working off the visuals and I wanted to share my thoughts on this. Let me know what you guys think. The rocket suggesting that it's getting ready to go to the moon, right? Um, yeah, tell us what you guys think in the comments down below. I do have referral links in the description. If you want to get free crypto, free stock, feel free to check those out. If you want to protect your crypto, you can use a cold storage wallet like Elipal. There's a discount code in the description. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. Again, I am not a financial advisor, guys. Hit the thumbs up, like button, click the bell icon. God bless, and I will see you in the next episode.